Hi, on this webcast you will see how to easily back up Red Hat Virtualization Engine with vProtect and IBM Spectrum Protect. So first we need to understand how the architecture looks like. vProtect was designed to take all of the responsibility from the data flow and data backup and restore process. First, we need to be aware that it's a fully agentless protection for the different VMs based on the different hypervisors. So we're using the native hypervisor API to communicate with the virtual machines and to do in a snapshot backup. Second, in this scenario, we have the IBM Spectrum Protect server as a main backup engine that takes all of the data from the vProtect temporary spa storage space staging area. So what we need to do from the configuration point of view, on the IBM Spectrum Protect, we need to create one node, which will be present the vProtect proxy server. This proxy server and node will be store all of the different virtual machine backups as a separate file spaces on the IBM Spectrum Protect server. We need to be aware that from the IBM Spectrum Protect administrator point of view, the only creation of the node is necessary. All of the rest, from the administration point of view, from the indexing point of view, from the scheduling point of view, is made from the vProtect console. Of course, the IBM Spectrum Protect administrator should take under the consideration to which domain and set of policies the vProtect node should be assigned. The most important thing is to choose the proper storage pool. It should be disk, dedupe or the tape pool. Okay, so let's go to the live demo part and explain how we can in easy three steps doing all of the configuration and protection for our virtual machines based of the Red Hat virtualization engine and Spectrum Protect. So let's start by logging into the vProtect web-based console. After we log in, we see all of the necessary information on the dashboard. How many of the VMs are protected, not protected or not scheduled? How many staging space we have left? Status on the particular backups in last 24 hours for VMs. Numbers, how many hypervisors, virtual machines, VM groups and schedules are configured on the vProtect. If the engine is working properly, do we have a valid license? and the last 30 days total size of the backup and restore. Let's go to the settings in which we can choose the backup provider, in this case IBM Spectrum Protect TSM. We can choose where the staging area should be on the file system. And in the IBM Spectrum Protect tab we can see all of the necessary configuration that we need to setup such as node name, password, time zone and the backup policy. Also in a general tab we can choose that we would like to have the last backup kept on the local file system. Let's go to the hypervisors tab and explain how we can easily add the new hypervisor managers such as Red Hat Enterprise Virtualization. So we need to provide the proper URL with the API and the user credential with the password. After we add, we need to right click on the hypervisor managers and we can start the indexing all of the VMs that is working under this hypervisor managers. What we need to also do is to add all of the KVM hosts that is working under this manager. Let's go to the virtual machines view. Let's choose two machines and do the backup on demand. We can set the window when we should start. We can prioritize and we can put the backup window duration for this particular task. We can see on the lower menu that the two tasks 
has already started. We can check this snapshot on these machines in Red Hat Virtualization Manager. This task is an export task. So what we're doing, we're doing a snapshot for this machine and taking this data to our staging area on a vProtect. In a snapshot tab, we see that we're doing a snapshot for this particular machine. Let's come back to the vProtect console and explain how we can automate the process of the backup for the groups of VMs. So in the groups, we can see that we can create different kinds of groups and each group can associate different VMs with the different schedules. So if you right click on a group, we can assign additional VMs to this group. We can do the same with the schedules. In a schedule tab, we can create additional schedules. So let's create a sample one. Let's name it daily. It's active. We can choose the group that we would like to assign the schedules. We can choose the proper time, date and duration. Uh, let's for a second jump out into the IBM Spectrum Protect server. So we see that the store process has started for this particular machine. It means that the data is already st stored on the staging area on a vProtect proxy and right now it's transferring directly to the IBM Spectrum Protect. We can see that we have an open sessions between the vProtect proxy and the server. Coming back to the schedules, we can modify the schedule after we create it. We can pick the dates, we can change the duration, windows duration, and every option that is associated with the schedule. Second process of the backup is stored on the IBM Spectrum Protect. So you see right now the four sessions, two sessions for the metadata, two sessions for transferring the data. The beauty of the vProtect is that we can easily manage number of the threads which is coming to the staging area and the number of the threads from the vProtect proxy to the IBM Spectrum Protect. We see that the first machine is already done. So we have a backup and stored in IBM Spectrum Protect. We see that the snapshot was released. Second machine is still on a stored task, so the data is sending to the IBM Spectrum Protect server. We can go to the IBM Spectrum Protect and see that we have still two sessions active. Moreover, we can see our staging area where this backup stays before it will be sent to the IBM Spectrum Protect. So let's wait to task to complete. Is done. On the IBM Spectrum Protect server, we see that the sessions is ended and our, our vProtect proxy on a staging area, the machine disappeared. We can see on the right click that we can come back 
to the particular snapshot that we've done before. We can choose where we can easily restore the data directly to our vProtect proxy. Let's start the restore task. Again, let's go to the IBM Spectrum Protect server and prove that right now we'll be receiving the data from the IBM Spectrum Protect. Okay, server is sending the data to the vProtect proxy. On a vProtect, we can see that the machine is downloading from the Spectrum Protect server. Just a hint for you that everything that you can do in a vProtect console from the web page, you can, you can do from the vProtect CLI. So let's do an example that you can list all of the tasks. that we done in the last 15 minutes. Let's list the number of the hypervisors managers. Let's list all of the VMs. And to get all of the lists from the CLI, we just need to put the vProtect and we'll get all of the options that we can go through. We can see that we finished the restore the data from the ABM Spectrum Protect to the vProtect. Let's go to our export domain and import the restored virtual machine into ref hypervisor the input process has started let's wait for a while to input the virtual machine and we'll test it The machine is imported successfully. Let's run it. And ensure that the machine is running and working properly. Let's put the credentials. And we are in. Okay, thank you for your attention and to see our webcast according to the Rev backup with the vProtect and the IBM Spectrum Protect.